Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog video. Today I'm going to show you this really cool JS effect called Base Professor Mark II. You can download and install this plugin right from inside Reaper if you have the Repack extension installed. If you don't know anything about Repack, please check out my video and then come on back. All right, so this plugin is a seven band leveler with some distortion, some other stuff, and it's made for taking a DI bass and making it sound good. I've gone back to that session I was reamping in the other day, threw this plugin on just to give it a try, and I really, really like what it does. All right, so we're gonna hear the DI by itself. Okay, and the same thing with the plugin, doing quite a bit of gain reduction, doing some EQ on here. Let's check it out. So as you can hear, it's a really powerful plugin, fantastic for bass guitar. These seven bands here at the bottom, they really give you so much tone control over this. From left to right, we have our profess control, which is the amount of limiting that we're applying to this. And it kind of just inflates everything. And listen to the sustain difference. And on. So it's totally squashed. It doesn't change level. This is not a transparent plugin. It's not just a little secret sauce. It kind of changes the whole sound, uh, but in a good way, and it's very controllable. So left to right, we got the compression control. We've got the dirt control, which is adding in a little bit of distortion, kind of up in the high frequencies in this presence and treble range. We have a low bass range, a high bass range, fullness, articulation, presence, and treble. On the right side of the plugin, we have a low frequency cut, and then we have an output trim. So I'm a huge fan of this on bass guitar. I've only known about this plugin for a couple days, but it's ridiculously good. Let's try it also on snare. Uh, it can be pretty cool on snare. Let's go back to the factory default setting and bypass it and let's listen to the snare. That's with it off. So it immediately changes the tone. This is not a transparent plugin. We can adjust that a little bit by using this, uh, turning down the input gain by minus six. And we want to retain the transient, so we click this transient button. Crank up the profess. Let's compare that with the transients. So we're gonna have to adjust the output level. And what I liked about this on snare was these, like this high bass control makes that snare sound so much bigger. If 
for some songs, automating the uh, sub bass on a snare might be really, really cool. It's something that I've never done, but playing around with it right now sounds good. All right, let's hear that with the drum mix. That's off, on. It's also pretty cool on bass drum. Let's hear that. I'm off. Huge difference. And back to factory default. I want to follow this up with a clipper so that uh, we don't get that level difference. I'm just going to grab that and uh, put that on there. So I don't want to bore you with playing around with this plugin while you guys are waiting. I want you guys to try it out. So update and synchronize your repack, install, uh, check your Reaper plugins folder for the new stuff. A little tip to find this stuff easily is to make a smart folder with the name Reteam, like this. Then anything that comes through Repack will be easily found. And that's it for this video. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Check out this plugin. It's really cool. It's free. Uh, you can get it right from inside Reaper, and that is awesome. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the website and these videos by becoming a patron on Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.